In this example, we uh, again uh, apply the LMTD method. So let's read the problems. It is desired to cool 0.6 kg per second of oil okay, from uh, 125 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. So the 125 will be the T hot in uh, and uh, the 35 will be T hot out. Water is available with a flow rate of 0.5 kg per second at temperature of uh, 10 degrees Celsius. So this is a T cool in. Uh, the overall coefficient of heat transfer is 85 Watt per square meter Kelvin. Determine the length of 3 cm in diameter to be required for counter flow double pipe heat exchanger. So it's a look, this is a double pipe, so we can use the LMTD method. So this one then you can use LMTD method. Um, and uh, remember the, the, the configuration of the flow is uh, counter flow. So to be able to do this one, uh, again uh, we draw uh, the flow. Uh, okay. Uh, if you look into this illustration, uh, we know that actually the temperature of uh, cold water, uh, sorry, uh, uh, cold water uh, exiting from the heating exchanger is not known. So because of it is not known, uh, we won't be able to uh, calculate the uh, LMTD. So the first step uh, we do is that we try to find out the T uh, cool. Okay, so we know that uh, the total Q is the same. So uh, I would say that Q hot here then equal to um, M hot, uh, CP hot, uh, delta T hot, then equal to uh, Q uh, cold, equal to M cold, uh, CP cold, and delta T cold. Okay. So by using this equation, we'll be able to find uh, delta T water, which is delta T cold, and we find it that the delta T equal to 36.17 uh, degrees Celsius. So from when we know the delta, uh, then we can uh, find out the temperature water out equal to 46.17 degrees Celsius. So now uh, we then uh, know what is delta T O in the LMTD. Delta T O is the one in the hot side. So it's a delta T O here is then 125 minus 46. Oh, sorry. Uh, Uh, sorry, uh, so it's a one at one, sorry, one twenty five. So delta T O here is uh, you refer to the hot side when when the when the hot fluid come in, so it's one twenty five. The left side minus is a forty six point one seven, and we have a delta T I equal to um, sixty five minus uh, 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we find that number and then we uh, key in all of the number in the LMTD equation to end up with uh, the, uh, the, the logarithmic mean temperature difference of 66.19. So next, uh, since uh, uh, the, the question is to find out the area uh, the length of the pipe, so uh, we can calculate that uh, from uh, the Q. So uh, Q, you can calculate it with a cold or hot, uh, or uh, yeah, it will end up with the same uh, value, 75.6 kilowatt here. And next is uh, we use the equation uh, Q equal to a uh, UA LMTD. So we know uh, Q from our calculation. We given U, and then we have uh, calculated the LMTD, and we get the total area required is 13.46 uh, uh, square meter. Then from uh, the 
surface area of inner side of the tubes, we calculate the, the total required area of the um, double pipe heat exchanger. If you notice here, you see it's a 142 meter. If you make a one line, that will be pretty long and uh, it's not space friendly. That is the very reason why uh, in large scale application, double pipe heat exchanger is not very popular.